Hi there, Evan here at the Macronicle for Thursday, March 12th, 2020, where the future starts today. Before I get into the video, some quick housekeeping. I did cover my remaining short positions in equities today. My medium term bias has not changed. We have fallen so far so fast. A lot of it justified, by the way. And all I'm expecting is a corrective bounce over the next day or two. That's it. Just wanted to go ahead and clarify that up front. Now, as far as the markets go, it seems like there's many across Twitter, many across the mainstream media that are still shell-shocked the market's fallen this far this fast. Well, think about it. In Canada, this economic indicator bottomed out in the second quarter of 2019. And in Canada, our bank stocks peaked roughly six months later in the fourth quarter. Globally, overall, this economic indicator bottomed out in the third quarter of last year, and financials peaked out last month, which of course now we're in the first quarter of 2020. In fact, besides oil and gas for entirely different reasons, financials have been the most noticeable sector during this sell-off. Now think about it. This economic indicator, what was it? I've mentioned it many times on this channel here. I've mentioned we need to watch this like a hawk. And it's really what got things started last month. That's right, it's unemployment. Rising unemployment obviously makes it difficult for individuals with less and or zero income coming in to pay the bills, to service the debts, which then leads to lower consumer spending which then leads to, at a corporate level, declining sales, declining profits, declining margins, declining ability to service their debts. But the linchpin to drive all this was unemployment. I've mentioned many times on here, we need to watch it like a hawk. And now the markets are starting to see why. So really, that's all that's going on here. And lastly, I'm going to give a quick update here on La Cerveza. Ontario is keeping schools closed for an extra two weeks after March break. Air Canada is banning all travel to Italy. But of course, what actually played into it was the fact that Italy is in lockdown. And they only chose to do this after it was in lockdown. But anyways, the U.S. has imposed a 30-day travel ban with the EU. But many countries in the EU are already in lockdown because of the virus and travel was weighed down anyways, so there you go. And every sporting event globally is either being suspended or canceled. Every major sports league globally has been suspended because the virus has spread to players, coaches, support staff alike. And of course, the story broke this morning that Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau and his wife are in self-isolation. Sophie came back from an event in the UK started having flu-like symptoms the last couple of days. So she's been tested for the virus and they're both in self-isolation. And lastly, my beloved Arsenal manager, Mikel Arteta, just as I was about to film this video, it was announced he has the coronavirus too. Boss, get well soon. That's all I'm gonna say. Good place to leave it. I'm tired. Smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, Follow both my accounts on Twitter. And as always, my name is Evan. This is the Macronicle, where the future starts today.